of the ways to a successful pig farming business is to know how to formulate your pig feed. How do you know this? You need to understand the nutritional requirements for pigs, okay? And also to understand their nutritional requirements needed for each stages of their development. So in this video, I'll be explaining to you how to formulate your pig feed and also their nutritional requirements needed at each stages of their development, okay? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Omi Doi. For those of you that are seeing me for the first time, here I talk about animal farming, pig and fish especially. In here, I give helpful tips on how to succeed in this business, how to make money from this business, okay? So if this is the kind of content you love, please don't hesitate to like this video, subscribe, share, and also turn on your post notification bell for new videos to come. into consideration when you want to formulate your pig feed is to understand their nutritional requirements in each developing stages first you need to understand the nutritional requirements required for pigs generally and also to understand or to know the particular nutritional requirements that is needed in each stages of their development okay so I will not be listing out the ingredients and percentage per 100 kg or more. Rather, I'll be explaining how to formulate this pig feed the best way that I can. So, I suggest you watch this video to the end if you want to learn everything about how to formulate pig feed. Or let's just say if you want to know the basics or more than the basics. I don't know, whichever way you get to see this video, okay? Generally, Pig needs varying amounts of protein, energy, vitamins and minerals, and also water for their growth. Okay, so these things is what you're going to put into consideration when you want to formulate your pig feed. So first thing, we are going to be looking at the four stages of pig development. So the four stages of pig development, we have the um, piglets, the winners, we have the growers, we also have the adult pig, and we also have the lactating pigs, okay? Now let's look at... Um, pig feed for piglets for piglets piglets that are still sucking from their mom when you want to introduce um, food for them you introduce creep feed they call it creep feed okay it's very you can get it in your local market you can get it in um, animal feed store okay you get creep feed for them while they are still sucking from their mom you introduce creep feed for them as you're doing that, you're introducing solid foods to them so that they will start getting used to it. So it's not be hard for them to feed after weaning, okay? So you introduce this um, food for them while they are still sucking from their mom, okay? For winners, these pigs need high energy diets that is low in fiber and contains lots of protein for their development. So sources of protein include soya bean meal, GNC, as granite seed cake, fish meal, Lysine and metonine. So for those that have been watching my channel, you can see that there is a video I'm going to drop the link on the screen. I have talked about or I gave you ex example on how the cheap feed you can make as at that time not now Okay, because it's a little bit priced right now. So the cheap feed that you can um, make for your pigs, okay? So in that video, you can see that I added metonine, but I added a very minute quantity of metonine, okay? So metonine is good. It contains protein, but you have to use it very little. Also, metonine is good to improve their um, immune system, okay? It also helps to improve their immune system. So in every um, 100 kg of um, feed, you are going to be adding 0.1% of this metonine, okay? While you add 18% um for other protein source okay so that is just how to do it i'm not saying you should when you add metonine you forget about gnc or you forget about other source of protein no you add it while still adding other sources of protein and other sources of vitamin and other sources of um, energy you can also add fiber but it just has to be little it just has to be little that's just the secret to formulating um, feed for winners so let's say for example now we are formulating a um, pig feed for winners so let's say we are using gnc we're going to need about 8 kg of gnc for maize we are going to be needing about 39 kg of maize brewer's waste we're going to be needing about 15 kg of 
this on pkc we're going to be needing about 6.1 kg of this with of we're going to be needing about 23.5 kg of this we'll also be needing soya bean meal 5 kg metal 9 0.1 gram bone meal 2.8 kg salt 0.25 gram vitamin premix 0.25 gram for 100 kg of um, pig feed so this is just an example of what i mean like i said before it's not like you're going to um, exclude because you know winners need um, high protein you not exclude giving them other sources that is going to make them grow okay so you don't you don't um you don't just focus on that particular one that they need you also need, give them that particular one that they need and also other ones okay so that is just it about winners that is just it about formulating pig feed for winners so the major points that you have to take note is they need protein just to grow fast okay they need protein just to grow fast that doesn't mean you will not go and give them indigestible um feed though you have to give them something that you know that will help them digest easily okay so let's talk about the sources of fiber okay the sources of fiber now we have wheat um brown we have rice brown and we have brewer's waste and other other ones so i'm just talking about the ones that we can easily see here and you can buy to mix with your um feed so for this one it is required about five to six percent for growing pigs and finishing pigs so, so that if you're getting these materials now, these ingredients now, fiber, fiber source, okay, it is needed 5 to 6% for growing pigs and finishing pigs. They don't need much. They don't need much of this, okay? For energy source, we have wheat, we have corn, we have um, PKC, pancanel cake. This one is for energy source, okay? We also have cassava peel cassava peel the back of cassava but if you're going to be using this with um, other ingredients you have to make sure it is properly dried we also have normal cassava too you have to make sure you dry it not for normal cassava too you need to dry it but for this um cassava peel you have to dry it very very well before incorporating it with other ingredients yes. so use about 10 to 20 kg for small pigs and use about 40 to 60 kg for um, adult pigs okay this one this is what you need if you're mix if you're formulating um pig feed for adult pig now if you're formulating for, let's say your boy okay if you're formulating pig um, feed for reeds you need energy um, this energy content to about 40 to 60 percent because they, they need energy okay but for smaller pigs growers um winners all the smaller pigs you need about 10 to 20 kg for it okay so if you're going to be using cassava you know cassava also have um, little protein you really need other ingredients to balance it because they don't need so much protein that is for adult pigs they don't need so much protein okay they need more of energy and this is also applicable to lactating pigs or pigs that are about to give birth or you know they don't need protein that much okay you just have to formulate you just have to get a formula that is rich in energy and other things too it's not that you just focus on only energy okay so let's talk about vitamins source of vitamins we have vitamin premix so when you go to the market you just get vitamin premix read the labeling and know how many percent to add but you don't need to add so much like about two gram is fine let's say we want to formulate feed to fatten your your pigs let's, let's say we are using maize we're going to use about 37 kg of maize rural swiss we're going to use about 13 kg GNC, we're going to be using about 3 kg, PKC, 15 kg, um, wheat or fowl, 22.5 kg, soya bean, 2 kg, maize brown, 5 kg, bone meal, 1.6 kg, oyster shell, 0.4 gram, salt and premix, 0.2 gram, and um, um, salt, 0.2 gram, premix, 0.25 gram, okay? Correct me if I'm wrong, if it's not up to 100%. But let's say you want to formulate a feed for fattening your pigs. As you can see what I just listed here, it has, has all the required diets that is needed for pig development. Okay? If you relax and write it down and cross-check it, you will see that, that is, you will see what I explained in this video is what I wrote down. Or is what I gave as the formula. Okay, so you just have to target each each stages of the pigs. 
you have to know what they need and target it. When you're writing down the formula, that one that they need at that particular stage, you increase it a little while putting other ones. And you don't need to use so many, so many um, um, ingredients for your for your pig formulation. I see some people what they use is like up to like 15 or 20. No, is you don't need so much. Just give them that right thing that they need, and you're fine. You don't need to put a lot of things. No, you don't need a lot of things. You don't need it at all. So like I said before, for lactating pigs, you need a feed that is rich in energy. You need a feed that is rich in energy for lactating pigs, okay? So if you've just noticed all the same examples that I've given and everything, you see that in each of their um, stages of their development, I focused on what they need at that particular time. At that particular time. I focused on what they need at that particular time. So you really need to understand that in each stages of their development, for adult pigo, they need this. For smaller pigs, they need this. For growers, they need this. For winners, through growers, they use almost the same pig. They use almost the same feed. They need this. They need this, okay? So you just have to understand that and know what to formulate. And also know their energy source. That is why I give you examples of the ingredients that gives this particular particular nutrition. Like for example, now I already told you that corn now is for energy. If you want to give your pigs, if you want to um, formulate a, a a feed that is rich in energy, that is high in energy, you need corn, and you already know the percentage to use. Okay, but that doesn't mean that you only give, be giving them corn. You will give them with other ingredients. So that they can also get nutrition from this part, this part. Maybe they can also get vitamin from here. They can also get um, energy from here. They can also get protein from here. Just that this one will be higher because you need them to have this. Okay? You need them to have this. So the main idea is just to know what they need in each stages of their development and balance it with other um, classes of food. I just hope I've been able to give you a rundown of how to formulate your pig feed and um, what you, you should know. If you want to know more, you have to just go back and research more. Or also, you can just drop it in the comment section what some questions and I might just make a video on that while explaining it to you. Or I might just reply you directly, okay? So, make sure to research more. Um, ask questions. You can also, also talk to an animal nutritionist for more guide on pig feed formulation so that you get to understand everything about it. Okay, so for me, I feel like this is the basis that you should know if you don't really have much to consult people and all of that. I feel like this video, this is the basis of, um, of pig feed formulation. Okay, so thank you so much for watching to this point. If you have anything for me, like if you want to consult me, if you want me to set up your pig farm for you, your fish farm for you, I'm just a DM away. Send me a DM on my Facebook page at real on you doing or my Instagram at when you doing and also drop your comments in the comment section if there's anything you want to um, talk, you want to ask me, drop it in the comment section and I will reply you, okay? I've come to the end of this video. Please don't hesitate to subscribe, like and share. Give me a thumbs up in this video if you got value from this video. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.